In this video, we will talk about the basic components of a cybersecurity program. The initial question most project leaders have is, what is a cybersecurity program? This question is usually followed by, how do I create a cybersecurity program? We will address the second question in later videos. A cybersecurity program is actually an ongoing process. The overall goal of the program is to minimize risk with regard to the cyber infrastructure of the project. The program defines controls, policies, procedures, and needed education to achieve the role of mitigating risk. A cybersecurity program is made up of three key components, policies and procedures, technology and controls, and education and awareness training. Like a three-legged stool, if any one of these is missing, the whole thing will fall over. Since each project is different, each of these elements might have different levels of significance, but all three are needed. Oftentimes, inexperienced individuals will think a security program can be accomplished through technology. This, however, is not true. This does nothing to prevent things like phishing attacks or misuse of project resources. These can only be addressed by awareness training and policies. All three elements must be present. In terms of what a security program should do, that too can be thought of as composing three key elements. These elements are prevention, detection, and response. All activities within the program will fall into one of these three areas. Each area must be considered when putting together a program. The goal of a cybersecurity program is to identify the risks, understand their likelihood and impact on the cyber infrastructure project, and then put in place security controls that mitigate the risks to a level acceptable to the organization. In addition to assessment and mitigation, a robust cybersecurity program includes ongoing evaluation and assessment of cybersecurity risks and controls throughout the life cycle of the project. When looking at controls to deal with risk, view them in terms of the three areas we mentioned. Preventative controls are ones that prevent the loss or harm from occurring. For example, a control that enforces segregation of responsibilities. One person can submit a payment request, but a second person must authorize it. Minimizes the chance an employee can issue fraudulent payments. Preventative controls are clearly the best, since they minimize the possibility of loss by preventing the event from even occurring. With that being said, it must be noted that there are no perfect preventative controls. There is no silver bullet that will protect you from everything. Detective controls usually come into play during an event. These controls monitor activity to identify instances where practices or procedures were not followed. For example, an intrusion detection system will monitor the system looking for activities that don't seem right. It might indicate someone has compromised the system. Note, the person has already gotten past the preventative controls and is into the system. Preventative and detective work hand in hand. Since there is no perfect preventative control, a system must have some detective controls in place. The goal of these controls is to detect things before damage can occur. Response deals with the aftermath of an event. This control type restores the system or process back to the state prior to a harmful event. For example, a disk crash is recovered by the backups that are hopefully being performed. Controls that fall into the response category are crucial because sooner or later there will be a need to restore the system to a good state. Often these controls have less to do with cyber attacks and more to do with accidents that happen internally. This has been an overview of some of the basic steps in building a cybersecurity system. In following videos, we will cover the other steps in creating a security program. If you would like more help with building a security system, please contact CTSC. Contact and other information on the CTSC website, trustedci.org. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF, grant number OCI, one, two, three, four, four, oh, eight.